Hey there, America. This is Jeff. Hey, back in uh, in '99, my sister she uh she hooked up with some dude. Well, she got her Class A driver's license, and uh, they were driving truck, and she overdosed and died. And uh, my mom, I talked to my mom, and she uh, told me what happened. We went down to Southern California to make the arrangements for my sister. Come to find out, she was with two friends from uh, up north, where I'm from. And uh, but my mom never told me what was going on. She she didn't tell me that part. You know, we went and made the arrangements, and we came back up north. And then a couple of years later, I found out that she was with some people. And then I I did some uh, some you know I asked. Them, some people, because we you know we all grew up together, and uh, come to find out, I I found out who she was with, and now it's 2019. You know, it's uh, June of uh, 2019, but and this was back in '99. So, but the the person that she was with is uh, <clears throat> when I first found out, I was mad. And I was odd oh, because I known her. It was it was her friend from growing up. Oh, what was this call? And uh, but now this person's on the street, and I saw her. I was I was driving down the street, and I seen her, and I first thing I was gonna pull over and confront her about it, and but she was just talking to herself. She was pushing the cart, and it had a a bunch of miscellaneous i drove around the block and i pulled over and i watched it for a minute and uh all my anger because because they went they uh they used together my sister didn't use that you know she didn't use she wasn't known for that but i, I don't know i guess they talked her into it, whatever she was drinking whatever and uh, they found her in the motel room dead and they they didn't find no needle or nothing, but they found a can, aluminum can that was torn in half with some residue, I guess, in it. So I knew she was with somebody. It took me a while to find out who she was with. And my mom, when this all happened, we went down to Southern California, made the arrangements, and, and my mom got a phone call from somebody who was asking for a ride back up north, but my mom kept it from me. She didn't want me to know who was with my sister for some reason she was i don't know she didn't want me to know maybe she didn't want me to do something crazy and get revenge for my sister's death and go to a prison or whatever i don't know but uh i i eventually and now my mom's passed away she's been she passed away back in, in uh, 2001 so you know and so but i did find out but you know what do I, you know, I, I can't call the cops and, you know, and, oh, I found out who was with my sister when she OD'd 20 years ago, you, you know, and, uh, and for all these years, it's just been, they're all mad because I knew so she was with somebody, but I didn't know who she, and then I find out, and, but when I come across the person that she was with, she, uh, oh, she's battling demons. So anyway, I uh, I can't see uh doing I can't see uh doing any. I was gonna I was gonna tell my family you know I found out and everything, but uh yeah I I, I don't want to even bring it up and open no old uh, wounds you know so but I gotta I gotta live with it but it, you know this person she uh. I don't know what happened to her. I've known her since I was like 10 years old and she was a couple years older than me. We all grew up together and but my sister wasn't known for doing drugs. So I, I, I couldn't see my sister copping dope and fixing dope in a motel room, you know, and my sister, she got her classy license. She was getting her shit together, but she was with some bad influence. And uh, I guess they copped some dope and somebody, I think somebody shot my sister up and OD'd eater. You know, she never used whatever, and they gave her, her uh, I don't know what they gave her, but probably a little bit, whatever it was, it was too much because she was clean. I'm sure she never did drugs. Anyway, I can't, uh, I can't see making a phone call and 
it wouldn't at this point it wouldn't uh it wouldn't ease no pain it wouldn't i, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but this is live so and these are uh things that we we get to deal with not we have to deal with we get to deal with them because this is life and if it wasn't for you know life's experience then it'd all be mundane uh nothing so all right america i just thought I'd put something personal out there you know have a nice evening